what is going on, my dudes? Do that. <laughs> it's showing you with that snare serpentarium. So today I thought I would just go over real quick my new uh, ball pythons that are part of the Pied project that I was talking about. Um, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging for too long. So let me just show you one of them. She's in my pocket. <laughs> right, you're going to have to guess what it is. Now I know a lot of you aren't into ball pythons, but you're just going to have to guess what it is. Uh, three, two, one, bam. So it's a female coral glow or banana ball python. She is a gorgeous little girl. She's um, a CB20 hatchling. Um, obviously, some of you may or may not know, with bananas and coral glows, they, um, they've got a sex linking problem. So the females are quite rare to get, get your hands on. Um, so it's, it's great that I've got a female to pair with my future pied stuff and she's a gorgeous looking girl as well to be honest really really pleased with her she's a fantastic eater which is which is always great um especially with the with the royals or ball pythons you call them in the states um, because you know they're, they're not always great eaters um this this girl will eventually be going to the pied that i showed in the last video um, it, it's going to be a while on the road yet, obviously, but it's always good to look ahead, and I do think banana pides um, look really, really good. Definitely um, one of my favourite pides. Um, I, I did want to do albino pied stuff um, in the past, but I think I'd rather do the banana pides. I think they look a lot better, and obviously banana is a core dominant trait. Um, and you know the albino is recessive so with a double recessive it's a lot harder to hit um, and I gotta be honest I don't think the albino pides can even compete with the banana pides um, I really don't think that you know the banana pides are in a different league altogether uh, I really like the black spackling on the bananas a lot of people don't but I think it's what gives them the character to be honest so I'm going to put this girl back in my left pocket. Yes, I'm putting them in my pocket. It's nice and safe and breathable. And it stops me having to, uh, to fuss about too much. So I'll just show you the other girl. What do you think this is then, guys? Um, for all of you ball python lovers out there. What do you think it is? Uh, three, two, one, no cheating. And kabam. So this girl is an Enchi Orange Dream Hat Pied, female obviously, um, and she'll be an absolutely epic breeder once I can get her up to size. No rush for that obviously, but the Orange Dream stuff with Pied looks great and the Enchi stuff with Pied looks great. So um, you know, I'm hoping to get some really top quality stuff um, from this girl in the future. She's a little bit nuts, but um, yeah, I quite like it to be fair. This is the one that I bought off the other breeder that, that sold me the, the fire pied. I don't know why I did that, um, because this girl is now is eating for me. So I think that breeder is a bit dodgy. I won't be dealing with them again. I don't know why I dealt with them twice after what happened the first time. But hey ho, everyone makes mistakes, um, and I, I, I'm sure I'll get this girl feeding in no time. So, you know, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Anyway, thanks for uh, tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these uh, these two little royals that I've acquired. <laughs> uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.